Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Kirk Cookery of 1925, put out by the First Methodist Church of Evanston, Illinois, we're going to be making the cream cheese and Thousand Island sandwich. All right, well, first thing we got to do is make a Thousand Island dressing, and this is a recipe from a 1925 newspaper in Indianapolis, Illinois. We uh, mix in oil to mayonnaise. Then we add vinegar, salt and paprika, chopped stuffed olives, and Heinz chili sauce. Now we're to add enough Thousand Island dressing to make cream cheese spreadable. Let's start there. Now we put that on the bread. Okay, let's give this cream cheese and Thousand Island dressing sandwich a go. Here's the thing, I think this was probably a tea sandwich. I also think that the bread probably should have been a lot thinner, um, but still tasty. I mean, Thousand Island dressing is tasty and cream cheese has a little bit of a tang to it as well. Um, I do want to plus it up a little though. Given that I think it's a tea sandwich, I think cucumbers. Okay, let's give this cream cheese and Thousand Island dressing plussed up with a little sliced cucumber a go. You're still getting all the flavor of the Thousand Island dressing and the cream cheese and the richness, but now you've got a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a vegetal flavor that kind of offsets it a little bit, and it doesn't quite feel as um, overpowering. All right, so the Thousand Island and cream cheese sandwich, clearly a tea sandwich, so keep in mind the rating is based on what a tea sandwich is, not what you compare it to like a Reuben or something like that. Um, as a tea sandwich, the Thousand Island and cream cheese sandwich, I think is probably, that's probably a good six. It's pretty solid, pretty tasty. Uh, adding in the cucumbers, easily brought it up to a seven. Didn't really fundamentally change the sandwich because you still got the Thousand Island uh, flavor and you still got the cream cheese flavor and richness. Uh, but now you got a little bit of a crunch and a little freshness to, to kind of offset it a little bit. Definitely gonna finish that. I, you know, I would make this again, but it would have to be something like a cocktail party or tea, which, I've never had an afternoon tea in my life, so cocktail party it is. Um, they're just fun little nice snacks, refreshing, light, not too heavy. Um, so yeah, I would make this again, but not for lunch. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.